what is the argument for sort of the strengthening of dollar and dollar dominance with you know the proliferation of stable coins over time? Anyone? I mean, a, a, a stat they love to float around is how stable coin issuers are now collectively the 18th largest holder of U.S. Treasuries. So is there, is there an argument to be made for dollar strength with stable coins? Anyone? Well, there's definitely a stability issue, right? So if you're thinking about, you know, other currency denominated stables, right? If it's a, if it's for the crypto natives, a place you return to for safety and you don't necessarily want to express a view, it makes sense to go into the most stable of, of assets. And so, but from a utility perspective to Dan's point, there, there are projects, you know, Galaxy were involved in a number of these different projects along the way that can be, you know, can add value to either regional currencies or, you know, specific, you know, state currencies. So there, there's value to that and you'll start to see that. I think what you're asking is, could it be, is there a world in which uh, dollar stable coins actually contribute to the strength of the dollar. And I think, you know, at 150 billion of face value, I mean, it's tiny. Um, could it be, look, if I were in the US government, I would try to encourage usage of dollar stable coins globally. I mean, you should incentivize people uh, to do so. I mean, it should be that it's trillions of dollars trading in dollar. It reaffirms the US's status and dollar status. and um, I mean, I, I think the only reason it, it hasn't come to that yet is just that people don't understand it down in D.C. And so I suspect that over the next sort of four to eight years, as the, you have a younger group of people also move in, that um, there may be like pro-policies as opposed to, you know, where we are today. 